Hey guys, I'm Ross Vane, and welcome back to another Ross vlog. Yes, I know, this intro is reverting back to the older Ross vlogs that I usually keep doing when I said in the last video, or in the last Ross vlog, that I wanted to change the formatting. But it's just hard because I can't introduce you guys the, the, the video that we're doing. And not only that, I just couldn't find any way or any grounds to start out start out this, these videos. I kept attempting to record it and it took me 20 tries to figure out what to do and I just like, you know what, let's head back to the old stuff and here I am today doing that. Anyways, there's a lot to talk about today and there's a lot to tell you guys in terms of updating. First and foremost, summer. Summer this time of the year is usually when I get a lot of free time and for the past two years, I had summer sessions or classes for the first half or the second half of my summer. But this year is different because I'm not gonna have any summer classes in this summer of 2016 so we're gonna have a lot of time dedicated to the channel instead because that's what I feel like doing and why the hell not you know but before we get into this new schedule that I'm gonna be making for the summer I want to point out to those who are new to this channel that typically when I go down to free time in a, a week's length like spring break winter break summer vacation is what I'm talking about here I typically do three videos a day because that's the typical schedule that I usually like doing because that pushes the series further or it pushes the videos that I need to push out quicker. And then on a school week, which we're in right now, we are doing two videos a day, sometimes one if I get too busy, but that's not likely happening a lot now for this semester, of course, or for this uh, season. But of course, the summer is going to be a little different in terms of those two said schedules. So first of all, I want to point out that when I record my videos, I get six to ten videos in that day of recording, maybe even more, maybe even less, depending on on what game I play, how I feel, and how things goes about um, during the recording day. But of course, most of my time is lost to recording, so I might only upload two to three videos only on that recording day. But the following day, or the day after that following day, it's gonna be the so-called editing day because I'll be editing a lot of videos on that day. So you might be wondering how much is a lot? I would say not one, not two, not three, not four, not even five, but six videos on that day. I wanted to do six videos on the editing day, the so-called editing day, because I wanted to upload more stuff to the channel as well as the fact that I want to further some stuff. But I'll probably talk about, talk about my three reasons why I want to upload the, edit, the, the six videos in that editing day. But of course, that's generally the schedule. Editing day would be six videos, maybe even more, depending on how I feel or how the time goes, the pacing goes for the for that one day and maybe even less if I get tired or something happens in the in that one editing day but yeah that's my schedule recording day editing day recording day editing editing and so on and so forth patterns different but anyways now for the three reasons why I want to do the schedule that I'm doing right now for this summer first reason that I want to do this is because I have too much series that I have to work on and I have I, I know I'm starting some new series currently too and that I'm in process of some other series but I want to try to get some of them done and try to be kind of like free from some of these older series and that I want to get a lot more experiences and journeys and games done on this channel and stuff like that because it's just there's too much for me if I was to you know move along with the same game from a year ago that I started and stuff like that and I typically do that which sucks sometimes second reason most of the games that I'm playing are AAA games like Borderlands 2 game of the year edition that's gonna take hours <laughs> and I'm not lying because I'm playing the side quest I'm playing the DLC I'm playing the main story and then you go over to the Witcher 3 series and that's also 300 hours or more or 500 hours plus DLC and the side quest and the main mission and I mean some of you guys might say don't do the side quest it's gonna take too long but I like it because it helps me out a lot technically and I typically I typically do that too during my Borderlands 1 game of the year edition when I played all the side quests and finished most of them at least or finished almost all of it and then Fallout 4 the same there's so much to do in there and then there's Final Fantasy 10 which is gonna also be a lot to do in there as well and then there's a few other series that I might start that might accidentally be or not accidentally but more like it's gonna take more time than usual that it might take of course but the final reason the third reason is a little bit different and this is another part of the update of course this fall I'm transitioning to a different school and I'm not gonna say what school because I don't know right now I'm still waiting on results and that I'm gonna decide after the result is announced for myself so that I can see where I'm gonna be heading to and I'll I'll talk about it more in the following Ross vlog maybe down in the summer and near the end of the summer and I'll just talk about my situation from there but 
but of course right now I am currently moving out of this school school that I'm going to currently I know some of those who are friends of mine or that people I met in real life that are from the school that I'm currently going to might be like wow surprise kind of but I mean the school that I go to hasn't been really bad actually it's just that they don't offer the classes I need to further my education for the major that I'm going to and that major is being in the game development sphere or the game industries kind of thing but game development in general because I wanted to do the game development because my passion or my goal at the end of this education is to become a or not education mainly but by the end of this education pathway and by the end of hopefully or by the start of the time I join into something I don't know things happen I don't know what exactly is gonna happen I have two different pathways that I see that I want to go into in terms of how I want to reach my goal in attaining the, the title job title that I want but yeah I want to be a creative director in gaming either in AAA games or maybe even even in indie games, I can possibly also think about starting in my own studios or maybe even be a part of an, ex in an, an existing studio, a AAA studio, I don't know, anything. Because for the past like few weeks, I've been trying to figure out what I want to do in general in terms of the gaming industries. Or actually, I wanted to confirm in the past weeks that I wanted to take this position in terms of the gaming industries. Because besides YouTube, I do want to start doing games. I want to make games myself because I feel like if I play a lot of games, it helps me like know things that I haven't learned before. And at the same time, it's very enjoyable to see the game development. I know it's a lot of work as well and a lot of time and effort is needed to put into these things. But of course, I do want to start doing those kind of things as well as furthering the channel, this channel as well, because that's the idea of what I want in the future. Things are not going to be the same sometimes and things can either just take the other way and I might leave YouTube behind and stuff like that. It depends on how it goes. But yeah, it's hard to explain at this moment because the future is kind of unknown at the moment. And basically, the, the, the bottom line of this overall is that I hope to attain the title of creative director in terms of any studios that I join or make and then also be on YouTube doing let's plays as I typically do and that's what I want that's what I want in terms of the end game in terms of what I want in terms of uh, the next 10 20 years at least or 40 years I don't know however long it lasts and if you know if I ever lose track of YouTube then that's how it's gonna be and I will update things I guess on the channel if I ever decide to close it out but I'm not gonna close it out as I mentioned I I put a lot of heart and dedication to doing this on YouTube and also doing other things as well because I enjoy both I'm not gonna say I hate both I enjoy both I want to learn how to do both I'm gonna strive to do both and hopefully get things done in that direction for both stuff but anyways uh, I'll talk more I guess when it comes down to the future in a sense like when things goes down I rather talk about it during the present time of when it happens. I don't want to talk about it in a sense that I know what's going to happen because I don't. I really don't. <laughs> but anyways, that's it. That's enough about future talk for a second there. And the transition for fall, of course, as I mentioned, I'm going back to it again uh, just to close it out, is that I may be moving out of this place so that this, the situation might be a little different right now or different from that time being in the fall because I might be in a different state causing me to not bring my desktop computer and I might end up being kind of, how should I say, missing my desktop computer when I leave it at home and I'm not, I'm, I'm probably going to use a laptop and that's it and that's all I could get from it. So yeah, that's going to be how it's going to go from there. All right, let's move on down to the last things to talk about in this video today. So by the time you're watching this video, it's about maybe, I guess, a week, less than a week, I think, less than a week before the new graphics card comes out, the 1080, the 1070. I am planning, or not the 1070, 1070 is in a later week, uh, one more week after the 1080. But basically, I am aiming to buy myself 1080 because originally I wanted to get the 980 Ti, but then suddenly I was like, wait, 1080. 80s announced damn it <laughs> and so I, I i thought why not jump into the wagon and just buy a 1080 instead because it's the newer hardware and why the hell not so i'm gonna buy a 1080 and slot it in to the desktop that i have right now and yeah that will be that like i just i guess i'll just slot it in uh, unless you guys want me to put a video up in terms of me installing the 1080 and or doing some benchmarking i don't mind doing benchmarking i don't have a lot of games looking at my desktop just icons because that's how i do it but yeah i have like just like witcher 3 i don't know if i can run witcher 3 in a sense that i can showcase the the, the numbers i guess for fps 
but yeah, Witcher 3, I got like Metro, Last Light, got the GTA 5 finally I got, uh, Tomb Raider, the first one, Shadow Mordor. I have a few games that I can also use as well, like Thief. Yeah, there's a couple games I can use on this channel to show benchmarkings in terms of certain games. But of course, I can't show all games, there's always a limit, of course. And if you don't want to, it's totally fine. Uh, just comment down below if you guys want me to do a benchmark test on the 1080 that I just got. I'll probably show the model and tell you guys what model it is. But I'm probably not sure it's gonna show up in the next Ross vlog because I might forget about it because it's not really important on the channel. But yeah, that's just something that I was gonna keep in mind about saying in this Ross vlog right here at the moment. But yeah, less than a, seven, less than a week and 1080 will be here and I'll be able to purchase it and stuff and hopefully get that used to help further the channel's graphics powers and stuff like that. And that's about it. I don't have a lot more updates to talk about. There might be more in the following week, but I don't know much because things happen and I don't really get to know it until the time comes. But yeah, a new series will there be? Maybe, possibly in the summer. I might go into like the stuff that I have been planning on doing, which is like, Bioshock 2, there was Riptide, Dead Island Riptide, there is also a few other series that I kind of want to continue on to in terms of sequel wise. Uh, once I'm done with Syndicate, of course you guys might know that I'm going to the first Assassin's Creed, rewinding backwards in time and playing the first all the way down to at least Revelation hopefully before the new Assassin's Creed come by, comes by and so and so forth from there. And next week we'll be recording the Roz cast. I'm going to have a usual guest which is Biotrex and I have a second guest. A returning friend of mine's holy pikachu i don't know if he is gonna make it or not it will depend on his scheduling on the next weekend i haven't been able to contact him to ask him to join but i hope likely that he's available by that time hopefully but yeah we're gonna be talking about e3 this coming roscast and that's why i saved it up to the end of may so that's what's going on right there but anyways thank you guys for watching that's all i have to say about series and stuff coming up for the week and hopefully the summer and what's going down in the later dates hope to see you guys in the next video or another Ross vlog or another series that i make i'll leave annotations as usual on the bottom of me to just click on if you guys want to check up check up some of the newer series this like uh, dead space there was uh, sleeping dogs definitive edition and then there's like uh, ib with bio tracks maybe i don't know i might even put something different because i forget <laughs> what i want to put on the three annotation and consider subscribing if you guys want to check out more stuff while in the summer because there's gonna be a lot to keep up with and i'm pretty sure some of you guys might not be able to keep up <laughs> i bet i i can bet that much <laughs> And the description box down below will have all the links to stuff related to this video or the channel itself. And I guess that's mo most likely it. So, yeah. Roz, 